was in Tokyo Bay for the surrender ceremonies, which was uh, well, most interesting. I was a motorboat coxswain and moved around through the fleet. My name is Henry Hall. I was born in Marylands in Sydney at a private hospital on the 4th of April 1922. I'm a retired naval officer having served in the Royal Australian Navy for 43 years. It was a, a very a very historic time, really, the end of the war, not just the war in Europe, but the end of the war. And I think every aeroplane that had been anywhere within a thousand miles of Tokyo flew over as they were signing the peace treaty on board the Missouri. I think the flight blast lasted for about 15 minutes non-stop. The aeroplanes about six abreast. It was amazing. So while we were there, we, we, were, we had some shore leave and we, uh, we visited a few ports in Japan and we were near Hiroshima. It was supposed to be out of bounds, but knowing what sailors are like, we all wanted to have a look at it. And uh, I think some of the fellows that stayed there too long did get some sort of radiation poisoning. But it was one of the most memorable moments in my life, having looked at the devastation of the, of, of the city, nothing. Could have been on Mars, absolutely nothing. Uh, I, uh, I mean, what was I? 20. And uh, my first question was, what God of any sort at all could allow this thing to happen? To allow the political situation in the world to reach a stage where people do this to each other. Uh, the inhumanity of man. I, I was, I was shocked, repulsed. Bloody near cried. Sat down on a, on a, what was left of a, a parapet of a, of a bridge. And there was a little, little Japanese man there. I've never seen anything. Well, The first thing I thought of was a little dog that had been, somebody had almost kicked it to death when, when he looked at me. He'd been absolutely, as if he'd been tortured and blinded and had his ears chopped off or something. It was, it was terrible. I just sat down alongside him and he looked at me and I looked at him and I thought, goodness me, is this what, is, is this what we've done to each other? The look in his eyes, nothing, nothing left. Gone. I had my um, water bottle with me. I took a swig out of the water bottle and I offered it to him. And he looked at it. And even in this situation, he wiped the top of the bottle with his hand. And I thought, my God, you know, where's his handkerchief? Um, I looked at him, he looked at me, and we sort of, don't ask me how, but somehow we communicated the futility, the waste of what it was all about. I would probably have a life to return to, but what did he have to return to? Anyway, we just sat there and looked at each other, and I got up and offered to shake my hands, and he just put his two hands together on his chin and just bowed his head three times and turned his face away. And I got up and walked off. And uh, it, it, it really, I've never forgotten it. I mean, the, the stupidity of the whole, the whole, the whole thing. And um, I often wondered what happened to him. I don't think he ever wondered what happened to me. He probably couldn't have cared less.